What is going on guys? Grave here today. I want to talk about my wish list for Battlefield 2042. Some of the things on the list are going to be things I'm hoping to see, some things I'm hoping not to see return from old games, and some things we already know about what's coming to the game that I kind of want to talk about a little bit uh, within the video. Let's go ahead and start it off with weapon customization. That's going to be the first thing that I'm hoping is uh, really good when it comes to Battlefield 2042. A lot of people want to see that Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 kind of customization system, but with this pre-alpha gameplay that we got shown a few weeks back, as soon as the character here enters the elevator, you can see them change their attachments on the fly in game without having to be, you know, dead and, and, you know, looking at their loadout, that kind of thing. I think it is awesome that you can change your, you know, attachments on the fly. And as long as we have a good weapon customization system with this, I think it could make the gunplay really enjoyable in Battlefield 2042. So if you're wanting to go in loud, you know, with a red dot, or if you're wanting to go in loud with a suppressor and a red dot, or if you want to change up your attachments and go for more of a long range scope, you're going to be able to do that on the fly. And if we have a good weapon customization system with that, like I said, I think it's going to be very enjoyable for everyone. Another thing that has been in past Battlefield games that I'm hoping to see not return, that's going to be suppression. I think most of us can agree suppression was absolutely ridiculous. I don't know anybody. I don't think I've ever met anybody that says they like suppression. And if you do, I would love to hear a comment down in the comment section of why you like it and why you would like to see a return to the game. Because personally for me, it was just not very enjoyable. I don't think anybody really much enjoyed it. So I'm hoping suppression does not make a comeback. One thing that was added in Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 that I really enjoyed was the ability to grab health and ammo off of characters. You did not have to wait for someone to throw an ammo pack or a health pack down on the ground. You were able to just go up to that character and grab it off of them if you needed it. And I'm hoping they will keep that. I thought that was a good UI kind of feature, something new they added in that was available in game. Where, like I said, you weren't having to wait for somebody to throw something down. You could just grab that off, uh, grab that off of them if you needed it. And I'm hoping that returns as well. I think consistent content is going to be a big thing for people. Uh, of course, we do know that the Battlefield Portal is going to be something that's added in. You're going to see that here in the background uh, right now. I think that portal can be a absolute game changer considering most people nowadays in FPS games talk about, you know, BRs and things like that. I think DICE doing this portal idea, if it does work out, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people in the community that are just portal players. They're going to be uploading things to YouTube, streaming it on Twitch, uploading, you know, clips on TikTok. I think it will have its own community, to be honest. Some of these players you may never see play anything else in Battlefield but the portal mode. And with the kind of the addition of this portal mode when they showed it off that has has me hopeful for content i'm hoping we have plenty of maps and plenty of content and it doesn't feel like you know it has over the past few years with a lot of different games out there whether it be an fps or not where it feels like you're just kind of starving for content for some months like you have nothing new to do and i'm hoping when it comes to what they're going to do for content what they're going to do with the portal mode this all works out we get a lot of new content we have a lot of fun game modes to play within the portal itself and I think the addition of content and the addition or addition of a lot of content, a good content system and the addition of this new portal mode, I think we have a bright future for what we can expect to see kind of in the coming months uh, after release. And of course, the upcoming years after that, uh, I'm hoping that stuff's all going to work out. So we have a good amount of things to play and do within the game. Another thing that I would like to have is good sound. I know that's going to sound funny, but Good gun sounds, good vehicle sounds, good just all around game sound where it kind of immerses you in the game is something that I think a lot of people might take for granted at times, but then when you have a game that doesn't have good sound, you kind of notice it. Good headshot sounds. I mean, how satisfying it is to get a good uh, get a headshot and you hear that sound and you know you got that headshot. Like I said, it's just good sound in general is a great thing for a game and DICE usually does a fantastic job and I will say Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 did a great job of sound even though a lot of us didn't love the games it really immersed you in that World War 1 World War 2 feel so I'm hoping the sound is spot on when it comes to Battlefield 2042 uh, I'm not sure if this is one that I want or not but I did put it on this list for the reason because I know it was popular and that is the ability to ping players now of course that was changed over the years you could ping the area but you couldn't ping the individual player and I know with 128 players on new gen console and PC, that's going to be something they probably thought about uh, because it's going to be chaotic. Uh, you know, it's going to be chaotic in certain parts of the map. And I think the option to have the ability to either ping players or ping an area probably needs to be added in. But I'm still not sure if I'm 100 percent, you know, confident that I want either one. So I definitely want to comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like the ability to ping players? ping the area what would you like to see brought back 
I think they need to make vehicles fun again. Uh, I'm not. I was not a fan of vehicles in Battlefield One or Battlefield Five. I like that old system where you had to get out and repair it with you know your blowtorch. You had to have an engineer with you. That kind of thing. The whole repair from inside thing. I I just wasn't really my thing. I, I like the older system we had. I think back to things like Bad Company Two. Uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, which were some of my favorite games. Even though I've played all the Battlefield titles, those were ba Bad Company 2 and probably even Bad Company 1 and Battlefield 3 were my three favorite Battlefield games. I was not a big of a fan as, of Battlefield 4 as some were, but those vehicle systems we had then, I think definitely need to be added back into the game uh, and kind of go away from what they did with Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. I, I think the older systems were a lot better. And last but not least, I just want that Battlefield feeling back. Kind of like I just said, those Battlefield games I just listed were my favorites. I even enjoyed, I'm not sure if any of you played Battlefield on PC a long time ago, I even enjoyed Battlefield Vietnam. Uh, some of the first very, uh, the very few first Battlefield titles we had I enjoyed. And over the years after Battlefield 3, I just, it, it still was enjoyable, but I kind of lost its luster at times. And I think if we can get that battlefield feeling back, you know, where everybody's just enjoying the game, the community's coming together and playing, and new things coming up in the portal, new content. We have new players coming to the game that never played Battlefield and experienced it before. I think we're in for a great next couple of years uh, of Battlefield. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Leave me some things you would like to see, uh, kind of your own personal wish list down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.